Greetings, mortals. I'm Brimson Barlow. We're going to be playing some Pac-Man. Well, this is more of a game that my mom was good at, kind of like Mario and Tetris and all these older games that she liked to play. <laughs> I am not very good at Pac-Man, I'll just be honest. I know that there's like a special route to go where you can almost never lose um, and like... You can get machines to play it that way, and that's how you're supposed to speed run it and whatnot. Um, I know that each one of the ghosts have their own, like, special AI type deal. Um, but for the most part, I never played this, like, very well. Great A example right there. Um, but, you know, I'm going to give it my best shot. Uh, it's probably going to be a shorter video than I usually do, and um, we'll probably do Dig Dug and do like a double feature type day. Um, so you'll probably get Pac-Man and Dig Dug, like, back to back. And, um, well, I've, oh, <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> I saw that coming. Um, but yeah, we, uh... I don't, I've never really had a copy of Pac-Man. I think I had, like, a hook to your TV, like, crappy controller uh, set up one time. Um, it was one of my mom's favorite games. She, she would play this more than any other one, this and Tetris. Um, she once played Tetris so much, it burned out the processor on my Game Boy Advance SP. Um... Don't think I had Pac-Man uh, for my Game Boy, but I may have. I've I've lived with Pac-Man my whole life because I've lived with my mom my whole life. <laughs> um, but no, it it was always fun trying to get up to the higher fruits and whatnot. That's what we really really cared about was the higher fruits um, and then high scores and whatnot. Um, I know some strats like getting these areas while uh, in on the power uh, pill or whatever it's called. Not power pill. Um, whatever the big dot is. I'm thinking power pill from Binding of Isaac. Um, but I always tried to get the uh, fruits every time. Man, they're good at cornering me in. Um... Yeah, every level that I played when I was a kid, I always tried to grab the fruit at all costs, even leaving a single dot just so that I could like wander around and try to get the get the fruit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, I always liked the game. I just was never really good at it. Uh, I played it quite a bit. I always tried to eat all four ghosts sometimes. Um, but I got deeper into Pac-Man when I got Pac-Man World, um, and, like, got to play, like, Pac-Attack and some other weird little stuff, but I would play the adventure mode, and she would play, uh, the normal Pac-Man, and we would, like, work together that way, because she didn't like the adventure mode. But, uh, this is another game that if I could get my mom to come onto the channel and play, I'd like to, I'd like to show her skills off. Because she's definitely going to beat me at this. Um, I can barely get past the the strawberry. I mean, my skills at this game have not changed almost whatsoever. Um, but, you know, I, I still remember some smart ways of going about stuff. So, like going down here like that. Trying to get stuff when it's clear. That way I don't get boxed in and easier to get boxed in spots. Oh, that was that was good timing right there on my part. Probably shouldn't have grabbed that just yet. But hey, I got the the fruit. I will always try for the fruit. It got me killed though. But just like my kid days, I always try for the fruit. Cause Pac-Man is hungry. And I like fruits. Boom! Got the cherry side done. 
I should not have grabbed that so soon, but it's all good. Haha, <laughs> tricked out the AI. That's the other thing, like, you can kind of trick the AI a little bit, too. Like, you can turn left kind of sharply and whatnot. Um, but we mostly played this and Miss Pac-Man, Dig Dug, and stuff at, like, hotels that had them, truck stops that had them, um, you know, the pizza shop that we went to often had it, um, and the roller ring had a couple of games like this, but they eventually changed it to, like, Mortal Kombat and stuff later on. Okay, they're gonna box me in. I gotta be careful. Oh, ah, oh, man. I'm just not good at it. I've never been good at it. I've always tried my best, but, you know, I can only do so much. <laughs> I can barely get past Strawberry, man. All right, let's do my main strat and see if we can, we can get further. I wanna try to get past Strawberry. That's my goal. This is my main strat. I. My main strat is to take care of this bottom left-hand corner, then go up to the left, take care of the top. My mom always went up to the top, but every time I went up here I, early, I would, like, die. So I've always went to the bottom left. Ooh, that was close. Juked him out. We're going to get all three here. I'm going to get three of them here. Almost could have got all four. I hit left. I wanted to keep going down. <laughs> That's the other thing. I've always had problems with trying to keep Pac-Man staying where he needed to be. And, like, just being proficient in turning with him. There we go. Hey, Dakota's online. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll go straight and go keep trying to do my uh, my strat here. All right, we'll run right up here and use the safety of the power dot. Power up. Ah, oh, bad timing. But that's all I'm going to do. I, I'm not good at Pac-Man. My mom is. Um... Brings back memories of, like, playing the game while waiting for pizza and, like, getting a quarter for my dad and mom to, to play some Pac-Man uh, or Dig Dug or whatever was there at the time. Um, really like it. It It's definitely an old game. Definitely goes in the retro category. But um, I was never good at it. So thanks for watching.